I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I wonder how I can turn off... I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I do not see a way to turn it off. There! I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. I think we better... Sure, I'll carry your crap. Smile. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. We should go find the sheriff.
It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister, Emily. Hi there. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Squeak! Was. Whack! Eek! Eek! Wait up, eager beaver. I can't reach that. I can't reach that. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get snippy. 
Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Dorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas who's in a pot who Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Four. Thirty-two million nine hundred and twenty-one thousand and fifty-six. 
It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. I can't reach that. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Arenos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. 
Uh, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery of Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. 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 No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. 
never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Ouch! That tight! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. It's my lawyer's business card. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. It's my closed safe where I keep all my money. That's a load of moolah. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar! with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm not just take the big bucks. Now there's the face I love. Ooh, my Cloud Pro looks great now! Just shoot like a man or a little girl. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Shoot the birdie! Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. 
You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the f This makeup isn't coming off! The you, old lady! You up the you Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, Love Muffin. Snuggle cakes.
Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dudette. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker way ahead of the curve man my mom says i should be more like my cousin bernard who got a scholarship to mit but why be like that dweeb when i could be like chuck edmund tell me about chuck he's my freaking hero man dude never went to college just started building his machines when he was a kid that guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah. It's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean... Yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? 
Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I need you to hand over the security tape. Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. I'm going to look around your store. Nice view. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? <sighs> Not a chance. The Feds never give up. Or should I say, the Fed Arenos never give up. I see. Now you're mocking me. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, uh, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good.
Freshly caught. I'll just grab a little for later. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. Nothing more to see. This could be the murder weapon. We should dust it for prints. I can't put it in there. I can't put it in there. That dust. The prints are really clear. It's my specks of dust. That's a bad trip just waiting to happen. It's an empty whiskey bottle. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. I'd really like to explore A Street. Street's closed until we fix this leak. Gotta go. I've got a murder to solve. It's a bag full of plumber tools.
That looks like Agent Ray's notebook. I hope she's okay. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will. What can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weirdo Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <sighs> I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the pie. Sorry, Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave, I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We've seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have the swine sex. Sorry, honey. Foreign businessman got the last one a few nights ago. Been a big rush on exotic foods these past few weeks. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. Sorry, we're out of salad. Aphid scare. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I guess I'm not hungry. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. 
Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Do you have any maps of the county? Oh, sorry, dude. We're all out of them. Sheriff Arino came by and nabbed them all. <laughs> Didn't even pay for them. Uncool. Way uncool, man. Can I take a look at that security tape? Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting-edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in a superior tech, dude. I'm going to look around your store. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It's a tunnel. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess.
Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Hi there. If you're calling for the Fox family, please leave a message. If you're calling about memories from a past life when you were an archaeologist, pirate, or neo-noir grim reaper, our support group meets on Fridays at 10. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. It doesn't work in that. There's no film in the camera. It's a cell phone. The cell phone has no reception. It's a payphone. Insert dime to make a call. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. It needs a dime to work.
Hi there. If you're calling for the Fox family, please leave a message. If you're calling about memories from a past life when you were an archaeologist, pirate, or neo-noir grim reaper, our support group meets on Fridays at 10. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. I'm looking for an escape route. I can't budget. I can't budget. I can't budget. I can't push that. I can't pull that. I can't push that. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm, is made of plastic. No murder here. I can't pull that. Is made of plastic. No murder here. Looks like this valve has been welded into position for it. I can't turn it. I can't pull that. I see Reyes standing in the Quickie Pal parking lot. Good man, Reyes, still hanging around. Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? No, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast, their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. Don't panic, Agent Ray. I'm not panicking. I said don't panic, Agent Ray. You need to conserve oxygen. I really don't. But believe me when I say I'm doing as little breathing as possible down here. I have some great survival tips. I have a survival tip for you, Reyes. Oh, yeah? It's called Zip It, and I won't punch you in the nuts when I get out of this sewer. Are you sure you don't want to hear my survival tips? Fine. Lay one on me. My abuela always said, spray rodent repellent in your shoes if you want to keep rodents away from your shoes. That's the most obvious, stupid advice I've heard. No more tips from you, Reyes. 
Although I am starting to wish I hadn't traded that gopher repellent I had for a carrot cake. It was delicious, though. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't screw this up, Reyes. Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me... need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. I'd rather not. I can That's a huge toilet. Seems out of lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. Ugh, ugh. They're all used up. Huh, I look good. That worked. I have a blood sample. I can't...
It only accepts fingerprints on official fingerprint tape. Lots of medical books, lots of medical books there. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. The prints are really clear. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Sounds like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Let me see if we have them in stock. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? And what is the make number? Let me see if we have them in stock. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? I'm all tubed out, thanks. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. there let's go over to the counter where we can talk well hi welcome to Ricky's tubes I'm looking for a tube we have lots of tubes here over 3,000 different makes and models do you know the two-letter model identifier And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards.
Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah. I'll run that up the home office arena flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Arena. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. No one is in there. Excuse me, ma'am. My, 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 what do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually, no, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became a video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company, Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bottom. It's a red gel decoder. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. 
If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. These are part of my action figure collection. Just down the hall is the big staircase. Ouch! No pinching! Just have to keep going. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. It's a defunct robot prototype. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the... Just down the hall is just down. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the sp I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Chuck is such a bully. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you.
Goodbye, Dolores. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally... Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. I know I have a good idea. There's a sign there. Better read it first. It says, out of order. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Pretty wilted. Who n looks good enough for a snack? What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Pretty clean, considering. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. If it weren't... The fireplace looks very clean. I can't reach that. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Digging in the front tree. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 flat. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. 
Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay, first question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it, exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay, I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. I can't reach that. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. I don't want to pick that up. That sounds like the doorbell. Just down the that sounds like that sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a fifty thousand dollar fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin! Diggin! It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? Digging in the... It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Mm, 
now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad, stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck? Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer for Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real-life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp part. There's, there's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp part from a cut room. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. I can't reach that. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Oh, fixed. 
Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. I'll just take the wrench. Don't touch our wrench, Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It's a color copy Tron 3000. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Gutenberg would be proud. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff, plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd to read him. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... What? The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the Pillow Factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? You? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Fourteenth Amendment? No. That defines citizenship, contains the Privileges or Immunities Clause, the Due Process Clause, and the Equal Protection Clause. Don't you mean the 27th Amendment? 
There is no 27th Amendment. Maybe someday in the far, far future. Don't you mean the 24th Amendment? No. That prohibits the revocation of voting rights due to the non-payment of taxes. Don't you mean the 18th Amendment? No. That prohibited the manufacturing or sale of alcohol within the United States, but repealed in 1933. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. It's a map of the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It's a map of the Trithumbleweed Park County area. I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a Fed. Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a news... Uh, we have a little... And second... Can I, as a private citizen... Nope. It's... We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of... Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. It's a color copy Tron 3000. I have to put something on it to copy first. What are you doing to my map? Please leave it alone. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Bust on down to the bakery, cause Ricky's Cakes is going out of business. The hot cakes are not as popular as we expected, so we're selling in bulk. 50% discount on thimbleberry pie when you grab one of Ricky's sticky buns. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. 
Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Good one. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. I would assume you knew that, being a federal employee and all. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. You got any loose change? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um, well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, uh, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? Looks like they're having a big sailing there. Cast your lot before it's too late. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. 
But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of assistance. If you can get me in a Garicus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... I have your mushrooms. Sweet. <laughs> Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. What did you see? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I feel I've been had. What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex Ransom the Clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bad, Agent Reyes? Well, no, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Tell me about yourself, Madam Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. I don't know what to tell you, dear.